A series of water main breaks. The sudden warm up in temperatures may be behind it. As Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us, these incidents should serve as a reminder for homeowners to check their own pipes. It's simple science. The water, when it turns to ice, it expands, right? With complicated problems. And, and your pipes are already at capacity for water. At a touch of warmth, a bit of thawing. Pipes is frozen. It's a recipe for disaster. It caused the pipe to burst. Now you're going to experience the water leaks. The signs may be discolored ceilings, cracks in the foundation, or water in the basement. It's going to melt. Some of the ground is still frozen, so that water has to go somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes that ends up in the home. Matt Tyner is the marketing director for Williams Comfort Air and Mr. Plumber. Right now, test the sump pump. But it's more about being aware than anything else. If a pipe does burst in your home, you're going to want to learn how to turn off the valve to the system so that way you don't do more damage to the home as water keeps pouring out. Or in Bloomington's case, it's shutting off the pressure to certain water mains. Lately, it's just been too cold and they just can't, it's not safe for them to work in water in these temperatures. So we do have to turn the water pressure down. Over the past few days, the city has had five water main breaks, including four today. Temperature fluctuations with the shifts in the ground, um, we do see more main breaks then. Albeit rarely this many, this frequently. Our data nerds are definitely looking at if there's another reason. Anytime they have to reduce water pressure below 20 PSI to work on it. That triggers a precautionary boil water advisory. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. If you live in town, Bloomington Utilities suggests you sign up online for the Monroe County Alert System. That's how companies will send out alerts for any boil advisories in your area.